This is a how-to video for project leads on the Traineeship Staff Support Programme website or the Apprenticeship Staff Support Programme website. And in this video, we're going to look at how to edit your project page. And so the first thing you'll need to do is to log in to project lead. And so here, you log in using your username and then your password. Now once you're logged in, uh, the first thing you'll need to do before you edit your page is to make sure you've got all the information that you want to put on that page. So if we go back to home, in this video, as an example, I'm going to add some text to uh, the project page, but I'm also going to add a link to a blog that I've just posted up. And so for that, and to do that, I will need the URL link. Uh, to, to make sure that it's linked correctly to the project page. And so here's my blog article here. I've just posted it up. And so here's the article, and I want this link here, the page link. And so I've highlighted it, right click, and I'm copying. And so I'm going to visit the home page again, click on projects, and I want to go to my project page. Now, you would obviously click on one of these project pages here, depending on which one is yours. Uh, but as an example, I'm going to click on this TSSP consultancy service page. And so your project page may look something like this. You probably have some information about um, what you are delivering as part of your project, and the different strands, and perhaps some, some contact details. And so on your page, you will need to click edit. And you'll have the title of your page here and the content of the page here. And so now I want to add in a bit more information. And so here I'm going, I want to add in some information about a new blog we've just posted up and we want to make sure that people view it from our page. And so here I might say, uh, come and have a look at our new blog post for April, just as an example. Okay, so that's the text that I want in there, which I've just typed in, and I want to add that link to the blog post. And so I would highlight what I want to link, and I click this button here. If you hover above it, it says insert or edit link. Click that one, and here I'm going to paste that URL link that I have just copied from the blog post. And so that link is now in there. If I click insert, it's now hyperlinked those two words there, and that'll take uh, the reader through to my blog post. And so here you can add in, uh, as you do your monthly update, you could add in the different blog posts you've posted up for April, May, June, July, uh, and any other content. You might have a hyperlink to some of the resources you've posted up uh, elsewhere. And uh, you can also add in uh, file attachments as you go. So it may be that you also want to add in <coughs> some information about uh, a new resource that you've just produced. It may be in draft. You may, might want people to come and feedback on that resource. And so you might say, uh, check out our new guide we have just drafted. Leave a comment and tell us what you think. Okay, and so I've just typed that in, and then I would go on File Attachments, and I would upload the resource. And so uh, you would click the file, go to your documents, click the document that you want to upload, press Open. And the name of the file will be displayed there, and then you will just need to click Attached. Now, what I would suggest is if your file is in draft, make sure that uh, the name of the file clearly says that it is a draft document. Uh, and then once it's finalized, it will be put in the actual resource library on this website. But as it is draft, I'll upload it to my page for people to comment on. And so I would have clicked Attach, and I will press Save. Now before you do that, you may like to, if we go back to the edit page, you may like to just click preview to make sure that it looks okay. It will look something like that. You can see the hyperlink there and the file should be shown there. And if you're happy with it, 
we're going to click save and it's told us that the uh, the page has now been updated and so if you go back to the home screen click on projects and go back to the page or project page in this case we're going to go to the TSSP consultancy service and we can see that that uh, content has now been added and it's even got a hyperlink uh, to our blog post and so if I click on that it will take us through to the new blog post that we posted up earlier in the day. So that is how to edit your project page. Uh, do come back and have a look at some of the other videos if you want to learn how to post up a news item, post up a blog, uh, add a date to the calendar and a number of other things. Come back and check out some of the other videos.